Good morning, students. This is a continuation of class seven geography chapter number three, greenhouse effect. And today we are going to discuss the topic, okay, that you find on page number twenty-seven, impact of global warming. So, in this impact of global warming, G L O B A L, global warming, you find many factors there, okay. so whenever we are talking about impact the result of global warming there are many factors that the first one is climate change climate change so what is climate change it is me it means the variation in the prevailing condition of the climate but not the weather okay weather and climate are different so what is the meaning of climate change climate change means a change that okay persists over a sustained period of time so climate change means we are having different types of climate that is being okay observed all over the world okay so wmo this wmo is also known as world's meteorological organization defines this time period as 30 years okay so whenever we are talking about a climate so what type of climate does sahara desert have and you will tell me that sahara desert has a, a hot type of climate so sahara desert is the largest desert of the world it is found in africa you know it i think so it covers 1/4 okay of africa so whenever we are talking about the sahara desert sahara desert has a hot type of climate but who told you sahara desert has a hot type of climate because we heard that for the past years sahara desert has this type of climate only so whenever we are talking about climate climate means okay the same type of weather condition that is present in that particular area over a period of 35 years or 30 years okay so whenever we are talking about weather weather changes from day to day season to season hour to hour are you getting my point so today morning it might be hot but in the evening it might be raining that is weather but climate means it has the same type of weather condition prevailing for a long period of time so so what is the reason for the climate climate change so the reason for the climate change is increase in global surface temperature of the earth so whenever we are talking about the surface temperature we are talking of the earth's radiated heat or terrestrial radiation okay which causes global warming so what are the consequences of climate change the first one we study in our book is melting and shrinking of ice sheets so whenever we are talking about melting and shrinking of the ice sheets on the earth okay we are talking about the ice getting melted from the solid to the liquid state okay which lowers the okay elevation level of the ice and when the ice melts it gives water to the oceans lakes rivers and seas which raises the level of the sea the second point is it raises the level of the sea so whenever we are talking about the sea level we are talking of the ocean level so sea level means if i draw a mountain here okay now if i draw a mountain and i find uh, i make a land here okay like this kind of land okay I'm projecting like this way now the where the place where the land meets the water okay this is called the sea level so when the sea level rises it rises due to the melting of the ice okay so when there is a rise in the sea level then you will find that you will have water over the land so excess water over the land causes what okay 
drowning or flooding of low coastal areas so coastal areas means okay areas that is near the sea near the oceans etc okay now whenever we are talking about this climate change okay this climate change also okay has a change in the rainfall pattern all over the world okay which basically also leads to flood flood means excess water on the land and droughts means okay shortage of water that is rainfall over or over a part of the land in the world the second effect is the effect on ecosystem the first effect was basically melting of ice sheets etc the second effect we come to know is climate change the first effort is climate change the second is effects on ecosystem so whenever we are talking about ecosystem okay we are talking about our environment in which we can live and breathe okay and sustain life it it includes our biosphere atmosphere hydrosphere and lithosphere makes our bi biosphere which makes our environment in which we can live and breathe and this becomes our natural environment or man made environment in which we live so effects on ecosystem okay now whenever we are talking about effects on ecosystem the okay changing climatic condition and dramatic increase or uh, okay dangerous increase in the level of the carbon dioxide okay in the atmosphere may cause or destroy our environment that is our ecosystem so efforts of ecosystem are seen in okay flora and fauna now whenever we are talking about flora and fauna okay we are talking about plants and animal species okay in cold areas will not be able to okay resist or what we call okay will be able to bear Warm, warm temperatures they will not be able to sustain warm temperature if it becomes too hot then it will be unbearable for them the animals and plants which are living in the cold cold areas so what happens the result we have species lost so we have some of the animals which are becoming extinct due to high temperatures and even plants which cannot bear high temperatures or warm temperatures and this endangers okay the species so species loss and endangerment is rising along with global temperature so when the global temperature rises we might fear that okay some of the plants will not be there in the future some of the animals will not be there in the future because they might become extinct this may lead to extinction of various species due to loss of habitat because the environment has been changed so that is called an habitat habitat means the surrounding in which they can nurture they in which they can live and breathe that environment which changes due to the rise in global temperature then will have loss of species desertification also the climate change may also lead to desertification also because to if the area becomes warmer and warmer you'll find the plants will die and if the plants die then that area would be converted in a desert okay and also deforestation of the trees now deforestation of the trees due to what due to not only human activity but due to the temperature of our earth also okay the second is change in okay chemical composition of water also changes remember that chemical change in the composition of water so water contains some of the form of oxygen okay some percent of oxygen but if there is a change in the composition of water so water is made of what you know it okay so h2o okay change in the chemical composition of water due to pollution like carbon dioxide 
salinity and declining level of oxygen let's take for example okay when you whenever you drink water what happens you feel a little bit refreshed energetic because water contains oxygen are you getting my point so when you have problems in breathing also when you have water this oxygen level rises in your body due to water remember that and if that water gets polluted by the chemical then what will happen so this is also affecting our ecosystem the third point okay that we are understanding here is okay effects on economic activity So whenever we are talking about efforts on economic activity, we are talking about tourism, okay, international trade due to uncertain environmental factors. So environment change also brings, okay, okay, change in the weather condition. So if it is raining outside, do you want to go to bazaar? No, isn't that so? If, okay. In some parts of the area, like in Nepal, you are having earthquakes or volcanic eruption. Do you want to go to that place to visit, okay, or to roam? No. So, this climate change also brings some, okay, changes in the weather pattern, changes in the climatic condition, as well as natural phenomena, okay. So, tourism and international trade will also be affected by this environmental, okay, factors. So in efforts on ecosystem, okay, after efforts on ecosystem, we are studying epidemics. Now the fourth point is epidemics, okay. So what is an epidemic? So epidemic means a widespread, okay, or outbreak of infectious diseases, okay. In a community or in a population is known as epidemic. Okay. So epidemic increases temperature. Yeah, so, so sorry. Increased temperature on the earth creates ideal condition for breeding of viruses, diseases, as well as bacteria, which are the major concern for spread of diseases and epidemics today we have have pandemic like corona this is spreading due to environmental factors also remember that so environmental factor is global warming so some of there are rumors that during a hot weather due to the hot weather the corona virus basically spreads rapidly but i don't know for sure okay it spreads or not but some of the environmental factors plays a vital role in spreading the viruses and bacteria or infectious diseases all over the world, okay? Now, we are going to the, okay, fifth factor, okay, that is known as, okay, scarcity of fresh water. Now, Due to the rise in the temperature, what happens was, what happens is actually during the daytime, the sun hits both land and water. So in the soil also, we have got water, okay? Not only in the water bodies, this gets evaporated in the atmosphere. But today we find due to the rise in the carbon dioxide level in the atmosphere, our terrestrial heat, that is the heat radiated by the earth during the night time causes global uh, rise in the, uh, gradual rise in the global temperature, okay? So what is happening is, okay, the fresh water reserves like the groundwater, okay, rivers, etc. is drying up slowly, gradually, okay? They are getting depleted, okay, in a fast or gradual rate. So this will 
this rise in the global temperature will affect okay or lead to severe scarcity of water now whenever we are talking about scarcity of water we are talking about the amount or amount of water will decrease the level of the water will decrease fresh water means fresh water is drinkable water or it is a potable water which we drink we cannot drink saline water or salty water salty water is uh, okay uh, given to the animals remember that oceans have salty water okay and even some of the lakes so whenever we are talking about rivers they give us fresh water and ground water means water that is found under the ground that is also fresh water that comes in the dharas etc they gave us fresh water which is a potable drinking water but if this water dries up then what will happen we have only 0.2 percent of fresh water all over the world remember that and this if this percentage of water also decreases then what will happen to us and this this is this water is getting decreased due to the global rise in the temperature which is causing climate change as well as scarcity of water now not only water will get affected not only ecosystem will get affected not only climate will get affected okay not only economic activity will be affected but agricultural activity also will get affected because if there is less water then do you think you can produce crops so decreasing the water level also decreases the cropping pattern all over the world you cannot grow crops in the same season because there is no water there is no rainfall so this also hampers our agricultural activities so the rate at which the crops can grow due to the fertility of the soil also declines because in the soil you don't have water so the rate at which the crop is growing also declines remember that so this much for today thank you for listening hope you find this lesson useful